How you going guys? It's Friday afternoon. We're back in the shed. We're loading up for another epic weekend away. But before we go on this episode, I'm going to run you through dual battery setups and powering a dual battery setup. Now, in previous episodes, I've run you through the Red Arc Manager 30, which is a complete battery management system that's obviously suited to a house battery style setup in the back of your truck or in your camper trailer or caravan. This is specifically for dual batteries. And realistically, there's two ways of doing it. And we get a lot of questions from customers about what is the right way to go about uh, setting up a second battery setup. And that depends on quite a few things. So hopefully, today I can answer a few of those questions. The most easiest way to go about a second battery setup is using a battery isolator. This is a Red Arc SBI 12, and it's a very, very simple setup. What this does is it connects your main start battery to your auxiliary battery, and all it does is when you get a certain voltage coming from your alternator through your start battery, it'll start putting charge into that second battery. So it'll start topping up off your alternator uh, and only the power that your alternator supplies into that second battery. When your start battery gets to 12.7 volts, when it gets down a little bit, it'll disconnect the, the, the second battery from the start battery. So say for example, if you pulled up a camp and you're running some small accessories um, off that second battery, once it gets down to that 12.7 volts, it'll just disconnect and turn off. So ensure that you've got enough cranking amps in your main battery to restart it when you need to. Couple of problems with that. If you're gonna go with a deep cycle battery, you would choose something like an AGM or a gel, say for example, they've got completely different uh, charge profiles. So there'll be a little bit of confusion between the two batteries. The other thing with going with a unit like this is while you're parked at camp, there is no way of putting charge into that second battery from your vehicle, unless you connect another charger to it. It is very basic, it does have its use. They've been around for a really long time. They do work really well if you're, if you're touring a lot, you're moving every single day that you can rely on that second battery that you're gonna be just trickle topping it up and you're not pulling a lot of power out of it, that's probably the most economical way to go. So the second way of doing it, and realistically what I think is the right way of charging your auxiliary battery is to go with one of these. And this is a smart battery charger from Red Arc. It's a BCDC 1225D. Fundamentally, uh, what this does is exactly what the name implies. It is a battery charger. This is what the unit is. So you're not drawing from your alternator or, or trying to make your alternator do something that the manufacturer hasn't specified it to do. Alternators ultimately are designed to charge one battery and not have the power draw of two batteries. One of the problems associated with that is most of the modern alternators now are variable voltage. So they'll, they'll only kick in and out when they need to. So they're not working as hard as they used to. And if you're running through a unit like an SBI, you're definitely not gonna get uh, close to getting 100% charge. This will convert the power from the alternator through the charger to give you a 100% charge into your battery, into your auxiliary battery. Now the other big advantage of that is it doesn't matter if your auxiliary battery is a different uh, type of battery. So if you're running a standard lead acid, you know, El Cheapo cranking battery, which is what the manufacturers will put into all cars, you can run a lithium, you can run an AGM, you can run a gel, it doesn't matter. When it runs through this battery charger, it'll charge your auxiliary battery back up to 100%. So you'll notice along the front of the unit that you've got uh, LEDs here for your different charge profiles. Again, this is a little bit different setup to the one I have in the black truck, so I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, you've got a solar light here and a vehicle light, so you can see at any particular time where your input's coming from. Now, like all the Red Arc products, um, they're all green products. So if you have your vehicle running, but you're pulling more voltage from the solar, it'll switch over to solar. So it'll use the power from the solar first, which is a pretty cool feature. Now you've got this little stage light at the end as well. I'm assuming it's the same as the staging lights that was on the old model. The old model had a boost, absorption and float uh, mode of charge. And through those three different profiles of charge, that's how it will charge a deep cycle battery back up to 100%. And that's the advantage of having an actual charger on board and not just trying to pull power from your alternator, which it wasn't designed to do. 
Now the 1225D, uh, the last three digits are the ones that matter. This is a 25 amp charger. So the, the 1225 is good to up to about a 200 amp hour auxiliary battery. If you're gonna run a bigger auxiliary battery or batteries than that, you'd wanna go for a 1240, which is a 40 amp charger. This one here is the D model, which means it's also got a solar input. Now the unit that we have fitted to the black truck is the same one that we put in there when we built it three years ago. It doesn't have the lithium profile charging in it and it doesn't have the solar input. But I'm gonna swap this one out to one of these and I'll tell you the reason why. When you're not driving, your alternator is not doing anything obviously, right? So your auxiliary battery is not charging. With this unit here, you can hook up your solar panels, the ones that are mounted on the roof, or you can put an external connection. You can lay out a solar blanket. While you're at camp and you're drawing power from your auxiliary battery, through your solar, you can put the power back in, which is an absolutely awesome feature and something that I would definitely use. Like all Red Arc products, um, they are tried and tested in Australian conditions. And you can see I've got mine mounted right at the grill. If you look at all the water crossings that I've did over the time with the black truck, the cold temperatures in Colorado, the mud that gets thrown at it, they're fully sealed, Australian made quality, tried and tested in Australia. Check them out, Red Arc BCDC 1225. Realistically, I think this is the only way to go when it comes to auxiliary battery charging in your tow vehicle. We're gonna finish loading up and I'm getting out of here.